Lecture 2, an introduction to the search and display networks on Google. What is the Google Search Network? The Google Search Network is a group of search related websites, for example google.com, and apps where your ads can appear. When you advertise on the Google Search Network, your ad can show near search results when someone searches with the terms related to one of your keywords. What is the search network generally used for? Running ads on the search network is the most common well-known form of pay-per-click advertising. With this network selection, your ads will be eligible to show on Google's search engine result pages. If you want to expand your reach, you can extend your targeting to include search partners, a group comprised of smaller search engines such as AOL. This advertising format is incredibly effective because it targets an active searcher who is on a mission to find something. Sure, you could rely on your organic listings, but chances are they'll be much more successful if you run ads on the search network. Not only are paid ads more robust, but they allow you to include extensions with additional links, phone numbers and addresses. Since the search network connects advertisers to people actively looking for their products, search campaigns typically drive more conversions than display campaigns. You should be running a search campaign if you're working with a limited budget. In general, when clients are restricted to a small budget, we recommend starting with the search network. This format is more likely to drive direct conversions, making it easier to measure and justify your pay-per-click efforts. Once you've mastered search, it may be advisable to expand to the display network, which can boost visibility, leading to an uptick in search volume for your business or if you sell an emergency product. If your product or service is offering something that users look for on a when needed basis, for example, plumbers, locksmiths, electricians, etc., you should be advertising on the search network. For these industries, it's imperative that your ad appears when the searcher is in need of your services. What is the Google Display Network? Google Ads are split into different networks, the search network and the display network. When advertising on the search network, businesses place text ads in the search engine results. On the display network, businesses instead place display ads on a vast network of sites across the internet. According to Google, the display network reaches over 90% of global internet users, expanding across over 2 million sites. What is the display network used for? When users are on the Google display network, they may not necessarily be in shopping mode. Instead, they're going about their daily internet activities, catching up on news, reading blog posts, or watching video clips. In order to gain traction on the Google Display Network, your ads must attract the user's attention and entice them enough to click through to your site, leaving the content that they were originally engaged in. Accomplishing this is no easy feat. Even with top-notch ad creatives, it's tough to draw users to click on ads while they're pursuing the Display Network. But don't write off the Google Display Network yet. While clicks may be scarce, ad space on the network is plentiful. It's the ideal space to promote brand awareness and its vast reach is appealing to advertisers who are looking to broaden their fan bases. By increasing your brand's visibility, you may reap more clicks on organic listings or see an uptick in brand specific searches. These clicks are also much less costly than clicks on the search network. Let's take a look when you should be running a display network campaign. You should be running one if you want to familiarise people with your brand. Many advertisers leverage the display network to promote brand awareness. Since the Google display network is so expansive, it offers many opportunities for advertisers to connect with their audiences. Don't worry, this doesn't mean you'll be shooting in the dark with your display ads. Google Ads provides a variety of targeting options ranging from managed placements, which are specific sites selected by the advertiser, to website groupings based on audience characteristics and more. By appearing on reputable sites that are popular amongst your target audience, you can quickly familiarise people to your product and brand. You should also be running a display network campaign if you have a lengthy sales process, if you sell a product or service that consumers are not likely to purchase immediately, you need to ensure that your brand stays top of mind for prospects as they consider making a purchase. 
To do this, we recommend utilizing remarketing through the Google Display Network. This strategy allows you to show ads to anyone who has visited your site in the past, encouraging them to return and convert. For example, a friend of mine spent some time on the Tiffany's website a few months ago as he was considering proposing to his girlfriend and he wanted to price out ring options. After visiting the site, he was added to Tiffany's remarketing list and was inundated with their engagement ring ads as he pursued the internet. The jeweller did such a good job of re-engaging with him that he took the plunge and bought a ring much sooner than originally planned. So, in summary, let's have a look at the differences between the display and the search network. Google Search Network targets users typing directly into Google's search engine or Google, Google Partner Search sites. That's if you opt to expand to Google Search Partners like AOL. In contrast, think of the display network as a more passive form of advertising. You've likely already seen many display ads today. For example, while pursuing the Daily Mail or skimming your favorite blogs, you may or may not have noticed banners or small boxes promoting a product or service above and to the side of the articles you're reading. Those are the display ads.